All right, so we got five three notes. So as an example, add 3x minus 4 and 2x plus 5. So we're just putting these as like terms together. So um, you're adding those together. So again, the like terms are what? 3x and 2x, right? So that's what we're focusing on. So we're adding those together, so that'd be 5x. Right, and negative 4 plus 5, okay, that's 1. So 5x plus 1. Okay, so then here for the show you know, they're just going to kind of expand it out a little bit and have you use algebra tiles a little bit. So it says draw the algebra tiles for each polynomial. So 2a minus 1, those are x's, so it's still a variable, so there would be two long bars. They would be shaded. A minus 1 would be a white one unit, because that's negative. And then you'd put a plus sign between. Then you'd have six units. because order doesn't matter in terms of how you're writing your tiles. Six units, and then minus 4a, which would be four white bars, like that. So that would be an algebra tile representation of that um, polynomial. And this is a range in the model, so they, you put the like tiles together, so that's the zero thing. That's the one that kind of Luke was just talking about last class. So we have shade, shade, four on the bottom. Okay, then I'm going to have uh, six of the dark ones here. Wow, those are pretty bad. Six of the dark ones, and then just one white one. So you'll see that right here we have those go away cancels out one of them, and then you just write what you have left. You have a negative 2x, or 2a, and you have 5. So negative 2a plus 5. And so I want you to draw the model in simplest form. So that just pretty much means you would just draw the negative 2a, and then the 5 units. and then they'd be shaded for the units. The bars would be white because they're negative. Again, that's just an algebra tile way of representing it. Algebra tiles are on the PAT, okay? You just need to be able to read them is the biggest thing. Yeah. Yeah, they tell you what they're equal to. Yeah, negative 2a plus five, okay? Then we have rewrite without brackets, group like terms, combine like terms, so part B here. So rewrite without brackets, so it's going to be 3t squared minus 5t plus t squared plus 2t plus 1. Group the like terms. 3t squared is like terms with 1t squared. Negative 5t is like terms with 2t. And then plus 1. 3t squared. Wait, where? Minus 5t. 3t squared plus t squared. Minus 5t plus 2t plus 1. And now we combine them. So 3 plus 1 is 4t squared. Like we talked about, exponent does not change. Negative 5 plus 2. Negative 3t. 1 Still a 1. 1, still a 1. Okay, what's the opposite polynomial for each expression? So what is the opposite of positive 3x? Negative 3x, that's correct. Opposite means that it'll cancel out, makes it a 0. Opposite of negative 2, positive 2, good. And opposite of 4x minus 1, negative 4x plus 1. Opposite means you hit it with a negative. If you're taking the opposite of the whole thing, you hit everything with a negative. And that's why, as Owen said, it's negative 4x plus 1. The positive 4x turned to negative, the negative 1 turned to positive. 
That makes sense. Okay, so Duffy, what's the opposite of a positive x? That's correct. And so if I was to draw these, you'd have a positive x, and then the opposite is just the white one. Okay, and Caden, what about the opposite of 5 minus 3x? Right, negative 5 plus 3x. Okay, check your answers by drawing algebra tiles to show the sum is 0. So this is just, we know those would cancel. So if I have five units that are positive, and I have the opposite down here, five units that are negative, we'd see they'd all cancel. And then over here, we'd have um, three negatives for the first term here. And then we have positive threes down here. And then you can just see they zero out again. Gone, gone, gone. Again, it's kind of redundant. They just want you to show their opposites because they zero each other out. Okay. Because we're doing that for a reason, because we're getting into subtraction now pretty soon, okay? Any questions? Are we going too fast? Does anybody need any clarifications? We're all good? Okay. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We're going to subtract 2x plus 3 from 3x minus 4 by combining like terms. Okay, Cato? You turn this way. No, like, turn your chair. There you go. Perfect. Nice. Okay, subtract 2x plus 3 from 3x minus 4. A lot of you are going to write this out wrong the first time. It says from 3x minus 4. So you should write 3x minus 4 first. You're subtracting. 2x plus 3 from it. That's how it should be written. So it says 2x plus subtract 2x plus 3 from 3x minus 4. If I told you to subtract 8 from 9, you'd go 9 minus 8. Okay? So understand that. People think because they re read it, they're going to go 2x plus 3 minus 3x plus 4. That's wrong because order does matter for subtraction, right? 2 plus 3 is 3 plus 2, no problem. But 2 minus 3 is not 3 minus 2. Okay, there is a difference in order of subtraction. Same thing with division. Division and subtraction are the, you know, not so friendly operations because they're not as cohesive. Okay, they don't go so easily. Multiplication, addition, no problem. Okay, so the reason I'm writing like this is because what we just did. If there's a negative outside the bracket, you subtract everything, not just the 2x. So the strategy that the book uses is go ahead and hit that with a positive and then do opposite. That's why we just did that. So this is a positive 2, so now it's a negative. That's a positive, now it's a negative. So you hit both of them, it's an opposite sign. I'm saying opposite, not negative, because what if it is negative? Then it becomes positive, okay? So then rewrite it. That's what it looks like now. Now take a second, look at that. Does that make sense? I had a positive 2x, it's now negative. I had a positive 3, which is now negative, because we were subtracting the group. Yes, sir. Because what happens is, is that we're going to go ahead and we're essentially we're pushing the sign through. If we leave it here and push through, you get minus and minuses and you have an extra negative. So what the strategy is, is that you just say, okay, plus, and then push the negative through. It's like we're multiplying everything by a negative one, which creates the opposite um, idea. So I'm not, um, again, I'm not changing things, but it's a great question. Okay, am I explaining that well enough or no? Yes. Are you sure? Anything else there? So again, he asked, like, why did I change the positive? So it's just kind of a strategy to let yourself know uh, that you are changing the brackets, what's in the brackets. So if I go minus uh, 2x minus 8, I'm saying, okay, I'm going to go ahead and change, make this a positive. That's a negative now. That's a positive. And so when I rewrite this, it'd be, I just kind of carry, a, neg a plus a negative is just minus, right? Plus a negative, that's just subtraction. And then that's going to be plus 8. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this out. We're going to do a bunch of these. So we have 3x minus 2x, a single x. Negative 4 minus 3 minus 7. That's what your answer would be, combining like terms there.
Okay, keep on moving. All right, last page here. Okay, so draw the algebra tiles for each polynomial. Okay, so watch what happens here, though. It's a little tricky. So for doing this, we have to make sure we understand we have 2x, so these are dark, 3 whites for negative 3, and we're minusing a negative x and 2 darks. So what you have to say to yourself is, I am minusing a minus. Right? So we're not, we're not adding them, so they don't zero out. So what I like to do is, okay, I'm going to go ahead and change this to a positive. I'm going to shade these the opposite of what they were. So now they are like that. Now I can combine them. Okay, so let's draw a zero pair out. There's no zero pairs. Two, well, there, no, there's not at all. 3x, we're just going to write this one. Minus 5 is what you would get. You can kind of go ahead and just kind of ignore this stuff because they have uh, too many steps that to me is not worth the time. Just we're going to go plus the opposite. Okay, plus the opposite. Okay. All right, so we just finished this one already. This one was 3x. Uh, minus 5. Now let's do this one. Subtract and combine, combine like terms. So see, they change it to a positive. So what kind of x squared do I put in there? Negative 2x squared. It's a negative 3x, so now it's a positive 3x. It's a negative 1, so now it's a positive 1. And now we combine our like terms. I know it's hard for my... My, this pen's a little bit, I mean, I have bad handwriting already, but try to squish in there, sorry. It's a negative 2x squared there. 5x squared minus 2x squared is 3x squared. Okay, so if I group them, I'll group them first. Sorry, I'm skipping a step here. There's my x squareds grouped. My x is grouped. And my 1's grouped. Negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2. Um, 4 plus 1 is 5. This is your combined like terms. That's your final answer. Okay, that's it for 5, 3.